viewers, welcome back to Frybox 64 Productions. I am Frybox 64, bringing you another episode of Shaggy Snacks. Today, we are recreating the double triple decker marshmallow fudge sardine sandwich, sounds absolutely delicious, from the episode Hassle in the Castle. Like, wow, my favorite. A double triple decker sardine and marshmallow fudge sandwich. As the name suggests, we are going to be making a seven layer sandwich filled with marshmallows, hot fudge sauce, lettuce of course, and a mixture of mashed sardines and chopped olives. In the episode, Shaggy used an olive as a garnish on top of the sandwich, but we decided to get a little more creative and chop up a bunch of olives and mix them in with the mashed sardines to kind of make kind of a sandwich spread hummus type thing. Not quite hummus, but still. As you can see, we've already set up four of the seven layers, so I'm just gonna get started making the final two. As you can see, we start off with a lovely little bit of fudge sauce. Ooh. Gotta get the right amount of fudge sauce on there. If you want, Joe, you can come over and sample the sardine and an olive mixture. Unless you wanna try the whole sandwich later on. So you're telling me I can opt in for a sample of that now and bypass <laughs> the worst later? Maybe. Hmm. Depends on feeling nice. Ew. I'll take my chances. This is just nasty. <laughs> so as you can see, we're doing a layer of the sardine olive mixture on top of the fudge sauce. Which I can see the silver skin from the actual sardines in here, so this is not very pleasant looking. Take a handful of marshmallows. See, the funny thing about marshmallows is I keep wanting to call them mushrooms. I don't know why, I think it's just the similarity of the sounds, but I want to keep calling them mushrooms. Even though they look nothing alike. And then we top that off with a lovely layer of lettuce to hide the abomination that is going to shorten my life expectancy by several years. All right, so now what we're gonna do Put this all together on a plate over here. I have a knife available just in case I need to cut it. Let's move this over a little bit so you can actually see what's going on here. And we're slowly going to put this monstrosity together. Oh boy. I honestly have no idea how Shaggy gets this in his mouth. I would ask him if I had a doorway to a parallel universe. Oh gosh, look at this thing. Just look at this thing. <laughs> look at this monstrosity, my gosh. And ironically, this is about as tall as it was in the episode too. <laughs> I got an idea. Oh, just to humor ourselves, let's just add an olive on top. Just for kicks and giggles. Ta-da! There you have it. The seven layer. Triple Double Decker Marshmallow Sardine Fudge Sandwich. <laughs> Vaya con Dios, everybody. If you're doing this at home, <laughs> best of luck to you. Hope you survive. How do you go about eating this? <laughs> Might be a knife and forker. Uh, well, I'm going to try taking a bite out of the top. Ah. And we, here we see Vicky imitating a python. You seriously have to have a terrible dog to eat this. Why does it taste like a peanut butter and banana sandwich? Hmm. It literally tastes like a peanut butter and banana sandwich. I don't know, maybe my senses are just weird, but that's what it tastes like. Holy crud, look at this thing. What's the verdict? That's only two bites, you need to give me three. Okay, now I'm facing the sardines. How the fudge do you eat this? If any of you have seen the original Scooby-Doo TV show, 
You often see Shaggy just unhinge his jaw and just shove the entire thing in his mouth. <laughs> he must have been part boa constrictor or python or something because I for a second can't do this. Fudge sauce and sardine goop. Okay, yeah, no, that is not the best sandwich to eat ever. Do you want to come over here and give it a bite? You have to. I don't wanna. You didn't take it. You didn't take a bite of the sardine mixture. You have to take a bite. Just out of the back corner. Last time was bad enough. Just one bite out of that corner, that's all you gotta do. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Smells like an ice cream parlor during an open sewer. The first man. time you bite it, it tastes like a peanut butter banana sandwich, I promise. Just think peanut butter banana sandwich. We lost the garnish now. Alas, poor Olive, I knew him well. This is awful. <laughs> what a I'm gonna take one more bite just to see. You're brave. I am very brave. I'm out. <laughs> and Joe is tapped out. Look at how we smushed this poor thing. <laughs> oh, where did you bite? Where did I bite? I do get the peanut butter taste in there, though. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, gosh, I got a whole mouthful of in that one. Okay, so on a scale of one to ten, this definitely, I'm gonna be generous and give this about a three. Cause like if these were the only ingredients I had on a deserted island and I needed to eat this to survive, I could do it, but maybe as one layer and not very happily at all. Joe, what do you think? If I had those ingredients on a desert island, I would eat them singly apart from the others. They <laughs> might not be that bad. <laughs> But I don't think I would desperately throw them together just for giggles. Well, I don't know. Maybe on like a Saturday, if you're if you're feeling funky, you're like oh, it's a weekend, I might as well just put together a sandwich. I could do it, but not very happily. I'm gonna give it a three and a half or so. Yeah, Better yeah. than the maple breakfast sausage <laughs> last episode. You gave yeah, you gave it a higher ranking than I did. So, all right. Well, as you can see, that was the double triple decker sandwich. We're gonna take a short break here, and when we come back, we're gonna have a kind of modern take on this for you. We're gonna take a different spin on this, so be right back. Well, after several minutes of cleanup, a couple minutes to wash off my face, and a lot of time on the panini press, we now present to you the modern take on the sandwich. Ladies and gentlemen, the marshmallow fudge sardine panini, complete with an addition of cheese. We're gonna see how this tastes heated up to a really kind of mushy consistency and dipped in ketchup, no less. Oh, gosh. Oh my gosh, that's nasty. So, apparently, the sardines kind of melded with the fudge sauce. We left the lettuce in there, which is probably a bad idea. <laughs> I can see Joe back there. He's got his face covered with his shirt. It smells so bad. It doesn't taste much better, honestly. The only saving factor is the ketchup. I'm getting a really oddly strong banana flavor with this. I don't know why. But I'm getting cheese and banana and it's I don't know where the banana's coming from, but it's nasty. And I do three bites of this. Joe, you come over here and you take this with me. Do I have to? Well, maybe. I don't want to. Do it for views. Three bites first. You do your first three and I'll take one to follow. Fine. <laughs> oh, God. It smells so bad. Okay. Just 
just to give you kind of an idea of how bad it is. I have one of my rabbits running around on the floor. She was thumping and freaking the heck out because it smelled so rancid in here. Oh. That's just to give you an idea of how bad this is. Let me, put, let me dip into some more ketchup. That's good. I think you should take a big bite, man. Not like I'm skipping and taking a double. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah, no. No. It's not puke worthy, but it's not. Oh gosh. It's not five star restaurant worthy either. It's not, it's definitely not a recipe Chef Gusto would have used to say. <laughs> All right, you come over here. You take a bite. I did my three. Don't hold that near me. That's a while. I'll check. Eat it. Just eat it. Oh. I know. And you can see the chocolate sauce kind of like bled through the bread. This. Just do it and get it over with. Oh man. If you need to spit the garbage cans right there. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Oh, that's, uh, that's horrifying. I know. <laughs> I think we have learned that some shaggy snacks just need to be left the way they are and don't need to be tinkered with. Why would anybody eat this? That's horrible. On a scale of 1 to 10, just because I got banana flavor out of it, I'm going to give it a 1. And I'm being generous with the 1. I'm giving that thing a 0. No yeah, human being no. should in their right mind eat that. No. No. Well, thank you for joining us for this episode of Shaggy Snacks. To answer the, today's question of, do you need a scrap iron stomach to handle this sandwich? Oh yes, yes you do. If you enjoyed watching us take a couple extra years off our lifespan, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave us a comment telling how much you enjoyed watching us suffer. And until next time, this is Frybox64 signing off.